the brow should start in the corner of the nose, three quarters of the way is where the arch should be, and then line right up so his brow is mapped perfectly, the frame to his face. We just want to clean it up underneath. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to comb the hairs up. And can anybody tell me why we are combing the brows up? To get the hairs out of the way from the bottom. So the right now I'm focused on the bottom line. I'm trying to establish the shape of the brow. And by moving all of those hairs out of the way, it's going to establish that shape for me. So tweezing. What I like to do is, first things first, when you are tweezing, you need a couple of things. You need some alcohol prep pads. You're gonna need a spoolie. You're gonna need some tweezers. Make sure that they are good and sharp. Don't use like dull tweezers because it's gonna struggle. You're gonna have a struggle with gripping the hair, and you're gonna need some scissors, cuticle scissors. Next thing is, you're going to go ahead and take your alcohol prep pad, and you're going to wipe those brows. Always in the up, the same way you brush it. So I'm wiping it up just because I don't want to push the hairs back in different directions, but you can wipe it out, out. it really doesn't matter. Um, so just training those hairs back up. I want to make sure that all of the hairs that I don't want to see are out of the way. Now I'm going to take my tweezer. A lot of people just go in and start plucking. That's how you create pain. Um, what I like to do is stretch the skin up. So just like if you were doing a microderm, same thing. I like to stretch the skin up and out. So I'm pulling up and I'm stretching it out so the skin is taut. When I tweeze, a lot of people tweeze straight. They grip and then they pull. I tweeze, I hold my tweezers at a slant. Did you feel that? Mm -hmm. You won't feel anything if you pull the hair the direction that it's grown. Notice I'm scooping under the hairs and I'm pulling them all in the direction. So like this one's growing straight up. So I don't want to pull it that way. That's going to create pain. So if it's going straight up, I'm going to slightly hold my tweezer at a 45 degree angle and I'm going to pull it up. Did you feel that? Mm -hmm. You're not going to feel anything if you pull it in the direction of the hair is going and it's lifted out of the follicle instead of snatching. A lot of people try and move fast. Just to, it's not about that. It's about making sure that the client is not experiencing pain and making sure that you're pulling the necessary hairs that need to be pulled. So we can see, hold on, let me get this really. We can see just on this end here that I didn't pull anything that was unnecessary. I pulled exactly what needed to be cleaned up underneath that hair. So he has a great shape already. So there's no need for me to kind of create arch or shape. All I'm doing is I'm taking the superfluous hairs from the top and the bottom. So when I combed this up, it moved all of the hairs out of the way and I can see the little hairs that are right on that baseline. That's all I'm removing. So now when I get to the inside part of the brow, my direction that I'm holding my tweezer is gonna switch. So where I was pulling these hairs in that direction, now the hairs are growing up. So all I wanna do is stretch the skin 
and you have to be very careful underneath here because you don't want to take away too much hair, especially on a man. There's like one hair that can change the whole face if you pluck right now. Oh, so every blue moon you need to, I say pluck two, then let go. See the hairs, pluck them. I keep saying pluck them. I was going to say tweeze me for the time. Tweeze, y'all know, know what I mean. can't correct the instructor, so. Yes, you can. All right, cool. Thanks for that friend light. <laughs> Just don't do too much. <laughs> so, release. So, can we see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to just get this mm -hmm. here to be more perfected. I don't want to pull too much. So, you need to release every now and then until you get to that line of where you need to be. So, you're just cleaning it up? Yeah. So can we see how I got that up to where it needed to be without pulling too much? Mm -hmm. So take these things in steps. It's like pull, release, check. Pull, release, check. The other way that you can do it is I don't necessarily like doing it that way just because I like everything to be customized to my eye. Um, but if you go customize something to your eye, make sure your eye is good. Um, <laughs> So some people will take a white pencil and line the brow so they can see it and then check. What I typically do is I give the client a mirror. So every time I'm releasing, they can look. This is a partnership. I want you to see what's going on and see where it's going. So if it's going left, you need to make sure that you say it's going left so that we can take it back right. So right here, I'm seeing a couple of hairs, maybe one. That's why I was coming up close to see if you have seen me. I had to get my camera because I couldn't see me. Let's I see, see it with the camera. Let's see. And it was still uh at <laughs> <laughs> me. His hairs are much thicker here. You cut your hairs right. late, like recently? Like combed them up and then yeah. I comb them up but I don't cut them. Only had wax. See? Yeah, I see it. Can we see the thickness here? Yeah. Uh -huh. So I don't wanna I don't wanna keep removing hair from there because it's not the shape, mm -hmm. it's the thickness right here of his hands. Okay. So what you want to do in that instance is back comb, comb up, and that's something that you would utilize your scissor for. Mm -hmm. You have to be very careful because it's thin at the top, it's not thick at the entire brow. So when we look at this brow, we can see that it's thick here, the hairs are thick here, but here they get thin. So if I cut too much, it's gonna thin this out and thin that out. And we're gonna have the same issue, it's just gonna be less hair overall. Okay. You don't want that issue. So what you wanna do is back comb, then comb up. It's gonna show you where those hairs are. So I'm holding my scissor at a 45 degree angle and I'm going to the same way that I cross checked, I'm going to do the same thing. So I see it thinned out a little bit, I'm going to comb it back up. So can we see how that kind of thinned out just a little bit? No. I don't want to take too much. Oh, okay. I just want to balance it out just a little bit. Okay. So now we're going to do the top. So on men, I typically don't do the top in the inner part. I leave it alone. So what I want to do is focus more so right here. So we're going to stretch the skin.
Any questions? That's typically how I'm squeezing the brown.